Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Louie coming at you. Wow, gotta get you so you can see me. Look at that. World of difference there. Anyways, this is Louie coming at you. Uh, let's talk about what today is. Today is the eve of election day. Now, I learned some disturbing facts um, early this morning. Do you realize that upstate New York, only 36% of its population showed up to vote in the last midterm election? Now, what I'm getting at here is this election season that we've got going is one of the most important of my lifetime. I'm not going to say it's the most important because it's not. There were some very important ones prior to this, and I'm sure there's going to be some very important ones later down the road. But in my lifetime so far, this election season is the most important one. What's going to happen? Well, if the House and Senate is taken over by the Democrats, we're going to lose our great president. Okay, They're going to do everything they can to impeach him, and he hasn't done anything illegal. If in New York State, Governor Cuomo wins and all the Democrats win, New York State's going to be so bankrupt that I don't know if they'll be able, it'll continue to be able to exist. It may have to dissolve itself. And I'm going to tell you right now, that would be a bad thing. Because then the government, the federal government comes in, takes over, and everything gets all screwed up because nobody in the federal government even knows how to run the federal government, let alone the state government. So, with that being said, we need to get out there. We need to vote. We need to get competent people in office. The lack of competence, the corruption that's going on in New York State right now, it's pathetic, okay? And you can't keep the state running with this kind of corruption and lack of competence. We need to get competent people in there. We need to get competent legislatures, competent state senators, competent governor, competent lieutenant governor, competent comp comptroller, okay? All them. We got to get some competency up there. We got to get somebody who's going to answer for their actions. We got to get somebody who's not going to have the arrogance to say, I am the government or America was never great. Okay. That is an individual who doesn't know what he believes in. So he's going to take the talking points that the rest of the Democrats are using to try and run his campaign. And that's what he did. The, 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 Check this on YouTube, too. Don't take my word for it. Look at YouTube. It's on YouTube. But the, the gubernatorial debate, debate that, he, that uh, Cuomo had with Mark Molinero will tell you everything you need to know about Cuomo. Cuomo doesn't have a platform. So what he did is he went after Mark Molinero as a Trump supporter. Okay? Now, I don't agree with Molinero, who, dis, who didn't really back Trump. But at the same time, if that's your platform, you ain't got anything. You don't have anything. we got to get Cuomo out of office. we got to put somebody in there that's competent. I'm not telling you who to vote for, except for don't vote for Cuomo. I would like to see Molinero take it, but I don't have all the facts. I don't know what Larry, uh, whatever his name is, is doing. I don't know what his facts are. I know that Mark Molinero has said some things that's got my interest up. Um, and I'd like to see him take it because of that. But you all go with what you think. The only thing I ask is you don't vote for Cuomo. Okay? Now, there's a lot of politicians who are saying don't vote for Larry whatever his name is. Larry, I cannot think of his name. Huh. I feel like a piece of crap here, you know, because his name is just whew, right out of my head. But the point is, I think Molinero will do a better job, okay? Now, on the other hand, I don't know how he's going to be about the, the fracking for natural gas. Safe fracking in, uh, in upstate New York would greatly increase the economy. It would make the economy so much better for upstate New York. And I would like to see us get that safe fracking okay now i know that larry guy is all for it he's a lot he's all for the towns villages and counties to make their own decisions on it um 
I don't know how Molinero is on it. I can't. I haven't been able to get an answer, but I've never been able to talk to him directly. So, you know, with that being said, I'm still going to go for Molinero and hope like crazy that, you know, he's willing to do that. Um, as far as uh, Como goes, he keeps shooting himself in the foot, people. And if you want, look at the debate and then read the comments, you're going to see that there is a lot of people who are voting against Cuomo. Some are voting Molinero, some are voting this other guy, but they're voting for somebody other than Cuomo. Now, if you feel that you can't decide who's better for the job, talk to your friends, talk to people you trust, ask them, who do you think is better? And then if they, you trust their opinion, follow their opinion. If you don't trust their opinion... Make up your own mind or find somebody else that you do trust. You don't have to take my word for it. I don't want anyone to take my word for it. I'm going to tell you what's out there. You do the research yourself. You decide for yourself what you think is right, what you think is wrong, what you think is factual, what you think is a lie. It's a simple deal. I do the research. I'm a busy individual, but I still take time out to look things up. And I don't go to just one site. I go to you know one source. I go to several sources, and I decide from there, and I pick the truth out from what from the lies. I pick, take the twists, and I try to untwist them to get the full truth. It's not a it's not a difficult task, and there's no reason why you can't do it. So, with that being said, get out to vote. Upstate New York needs to get out to vote. Okay, if you get out to vote, we can beat New York City. We can beat New York City. Rochester, Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany, Ithaca. We can beat all them. All those Democratic holds, we can beat them. All you got to do is just show up. All you got to do is just mark your ballots. That's it. It takes 10 minutes at the most, and that's if you have to wait in line. All right, it, it's a pretty quick running, smooth operating uh, situation. So, I'm going to let you go. You have a good day. Get out to vote. Vote. Vote.